Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Is it cold where you live? Is it cold? Está frío para donde está viviendo? No. Here is a poco helado. Yes, it is. So I'm using long lips. I'm using long lips. <laughs> I am cold, yes. So um, we are gonna get started right now because it is already 8 p.m. So I know that some of you are excited because today is the Selecta Mash, right? So, but we are here and uh, we need to complete, right, our class. So let's see, um, we are gonna do the midterm test or the midterm exam which is uh, what we had for today in this case. Um, let me share my screen with you. Are you able to see the virtual platform? Yep. Si pueden ver la plataforma virtual. Yes, teacher. Awesome. Yes, yes. So if we are able to see it, uh, we are going to complete uh, the exercises together. At the moment, we are going to listen a dialogue. And after listening the dialogue, according to the instructions says, we need to check the correct answers, right? So basically, we are going to hear a conversation on it. And we are going to be looking for the information where Tom grew up right where was uh where he grew up here we have three different answers then uh, we have carol used to we have here well the answers collect all photos read comics watch mysteries and so on and after that uh we have according to helen there is too much traffic isn't enough parking downtown aren't enough houses so, uh, and Anna can join a carpool by riding to work with Steve, asking a neighbor for a ride and calling a phone number. So here it seems to be that we are gonna have not a pretty long conversation, but we are looking for different answers, right? So we need to pay close attention to the conversation. So I'm gonna play the conversation for you and please uh, let me know if you were able to listen it, right? I will appreciate it that you can let me know if you are able to listen. Listen to the conversations. Are you able to listen? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, thank you. So there's going to be four different conversations, right? In the ones that we are going to be looking different answers. So let me go ahead and play. Check the correct answers. One. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No, I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Two. Okay, so let's see. In the number one, Tom grew up in San Francisco, Japan, or San Diego. San Francisco. San Francisco. Thank you very much. Good job. So let's listen to the second conversation, right? Two. How's your meal, Carol? Hmm, what happened? It did a stop. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't know why it's not reproducing the audio. Um, this one is basically something from the, let me see, mm, I see. So this one is something from the, it's on the, I'm sorry, what is this name? 
is on this Google thing. I forget the name. What is the name, right? What is the name of the application where you can store things in Google? I do uh, apologize, I don't remember it. There we go. I hope that we are gonna be able to listen it now. Let's see. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Okay. Unfortunately not. I, I think I'm um, not gonna be able to be stopping the audio and asking to you questions because if I stop the audio, what happened is that I need to restart it all over again, right? So I'm gonna just let it go. The three conversations that are left, try to get the information, right? That is asking for us there. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Two. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me, what were you like as a child? Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect old black and white photographs. Three. I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. Four. Hey, Steve, guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. I see. How do you know so much about this? I called that number five years ago. So let's see, in the number two, what Carol used to do? Collect old photos, read comic books, watch mysteries? Read comic books. Read comic books, thank you. What about the number three? According to Helen, there is too much traffic, there isn't enough parking downtown, aren't enough houses. There isn't enough parking downtown. Downtown, thank you. What about Anna? Can you join a car pulling by, reading, uh, riding to work with a stiff, asking a neighbor for a ride, or calling a phone number? Mm -hmm. Reading to work with a stiff. Writing to work with a stiff. Does someone has any other idea or that one is okay? By calling phone number. By calling a phone number, right? Yes, that's yes. correct. What did a stiff did? Do I'm sorry, what did a stiff do? Que fue lo que Steve hizo? All right. Does anyone remember? When did he call to the number? Cuando llamó el, el número? Does anyone remember that information? No? No. No, okay. So he called five years ago, right? Five years ago, he called to the number and that's why he knows it. So let's see, is there any question regarding to this conversation? No, no question. No questions, awesome. So if there are no questions, let's go on the 
B, right? Uh, the B, it says past tense, right? So basically here we need to choose the correct complete for the question that we have and we have the answer already. Which one do you think is the correct one for the number one? I'm gonna place numbers here, right? Since we don't have numbers for them. One, two, or three, or four? Three. Where were you wearing, right? Thank you. Let's say uh, instructions, complete the conversation, use the past tense, and make sure not use capital letters when necessary, right? Okay, so let's see, did in high school. No, he didn't study French in high school, he studied Spanish. What it will be the question here? How should we complete it? According to the answer, no, he didn't study French in high school. He has studied Spanish. How it will be the question? Did you study French in high school? Okay. Did you or did he? Oh, pardon. Did he? Did he? Okay. Um, study French, right? In high school. Well, French is, has to go in capital. French, okay. Did he study French in high school? And then we got the answer, not he didn't, right? Once again, we have to complete the conversation or in this case, the question we had went from college and he graduated from college in 2010. How do will be the question? When did they graduate from college? When did they graduate, right? Yeah. Okay, from college. There we go. Let's see the answers, right? All of them are correct. So be careful, right? This one is graduate and this one is graduate. Graduate with the D at the end, right? Graduate graduate and this this idea is study is yes, this is studied 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 esta ed se convierte en una id verdad entonces es como un poquito más larga studied studied verdad entonces let's be careful on the camp pronunciation right we will try to be careful on it is there any question regarding to this or everything is fine Everything is, fine. Everything, Everything is fine. fine. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being answered, right? So let's see here, instructions. Choose the best word to complete the sentences. Who would like to go the number one as long with the answer from the three of them that we have there? ¿Quién le gustaría ser la número uno? Junto con la respuesta, ¿verdad? Go ahead. Okay, every, su every summer, Sam used to go to the beach with his friend with his friends. Thank you very much. What about the number two? Mm -hmm. That someone wants to do the number two? Me teacher. Go I ahead. Okay. I really enjoyed playing football when I was a teenager. Oh, okay. okay. I really enjoy playing uh, chess when I was a teenager. A teenager, thank you very much. Number three, someone, uh, one of the girls say me. Can that girl do the number three, please? If you are so kind. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Can someone do the number three? I have some useful pets. Include a rabbit and a an, uh, snake. A snake, right? Snake. Snakes. Okay, let's see. All of them are correct. Thank you very much. Good job. Do you have any pet or do you know someone that has an unusual pet? No? No? Just only no. dogs and cats? Uh, okay. Uh, and, 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 and sometimes. 
appears uh, at the scene. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but those are kind of, um, well, yes, it might be, but they just only get out at night, right? Yes. Yes, yeah. I do. Oh, but at some some point there, are, I see it a little bit cute, right? I see them a little <laughs> bit cute. <laughs> I guess they are, some of them, they are really small and some are so, so big. Right? Yeah. But, but uh, how do you say manso or, or manso or quieto? Manso, quieto, um, let me check. I'll own you that word, manso, right? Someone that is manso. It can be tranquil because uh, tranquil is uh, just for a person. Let me check on on here, right? Um, our our word, right? So, uh, we can say uh, gentle, 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 gentle. Yes. Okay, because uh, I, I I went out to the garden and he only saw. Uh, me and uh, has no afraid. Okay. We can say as well as steady. Steady will be steady. the correct one. Steady. steady. Yes. Okay. Steady. Steady. Yes. It's going to be S T E A D Y. Steady. Steady. S T E A D Y. Thank you. You are welcome. So, yes. Uh, yes, they are. Well, I have a friend uh, who's, um, well, his brother has a snake as a peck. And he was just explaining to me that they fit, fit it like almost uh, every eight days. And they give a little mouse, little mouse. And oh, he little. said, go ahead, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Oh, little... Oh or chicken yes sometimes that you give it chicken but the the horrible thing is that he said that his brother has the little mouse in in the refrigerator in the fridge and i was like oh in the fridge yes they are in the fridge and i was like oh. the, the, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the eaten the dead mouse Yes, uh, they they put it the dead mouse. Uh, he said that they put a little bit of warm water before to give it to it, and they then they put it the the little mouse right, but already dead. They put it the little mouse uh, near to the snake, and then the snake goes and start you know getting around it, trying to just uh, giving some pressure to the animal, and then it started eating it but i say that it's a kind of creepy uh, thing right having dead animals in your fridge right so i was like oh, hell no uh, <laughs> Not me. I, ha I have a friend who i had a snake but mm -hmm. gave, gave him live animal live mouse and live chicken oh but that that's that's creepy. <laughs> that's the creepiest. Well, yeah, exotic animals, right? They are not good to have them at home. They belongs to the nature, right? I think that they belongs to the nature. So, well, thank you. Thank you for that conversation, okay. right? I hope okay, that the rest enjoyed it. So let's see. Uh, used to, right? Uh, we are gonna use used to here. We over the exercise. It says go over the exercise each exercise and choose the best option. So here, for example, right, we need to choose the best option, it says, but here we need to write it down. So for example, uh, with the used to, right, how would you do this question? With used to, how would you do this question? Do, did you play soccer when you was a child? Mm -hmm. okay. Did you play? Did you play? But if it has to be with used to? Used to. Do you... Do you... Did you... Did you, did you, did you, did you 
to play. Used to play. Used to play soccer when you were a child. When you were a child. Thank you. What it would be the answer? Yes. I used. I used yes. To play. I used to play right soccer every day after school. Yeah. What about the number three? Yeah. What things? Use, you used to collect. What things? Let's remember, right? Uh, here we need to have the auxiliary, right? Did yeah, you, you used, used to, to you used to, to collect, right? I'm not quite sure if I need to write it down, Colette. If some of you have already done it, please let me know, right? So let's see, Colette, right? Let's see number four. It says, oh, I never, Colette. 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 Number one, two, or three? One. Two. Um, three. Three in pass. Good job. Good job. Yes, collect, collect. Let's remember, right? Uh, past tense will have three different pronunciations. They will get the T pronunciation, the D pronunciation, and the ID pronunciation. One is N, the other one is T, and the other one is ID, right? So we got to be careful with that. These ones, the ones that are ending with T, uh, TN, what you're going to have is collected. Collected, collected. So basically, the E, D, it's going to be converted into ID, right? Collected, collected. So be careful with that. Just that, right? So let's see if we have it correctly or I made a mistake, right? All right, we have all of them. Good. Is there any question regarding used to? No? no Everything no. is fine? All right. Awesome. So here we have word order, right? And we are almost done. We are missing just two parts more. So here we have instructions. Anna scramble the sentences, then choose the best way to write the sentence. Here we had fewer, should, noise, there, less, be, parts, and. Which one it will be the correct one or the one that is structured well? Number one, number two, number three. Which one do you think is the correct one? Two. Number two, so when it says number two, so it says yeah. that it would be, there should be fewer noise and less cars. Yes? Fewer, count or non-count? Not count. Not count? Okay. Someone is telling me count and some others are telling me non count. Why? Okay. Why? 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 You tell me. Don't remember. Okay. Señoritas, caballeros. Fewer, right? Count or non count? Let's Fewer see where. No, no count. Not count? Okay. 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 Fewer, let's remember that fewer, someone says, is for something that we can count. Less is for something that we cannot count. Right. So basically it's gonna be number three. There should be fewer cars and less noise. Right. So that one, according to what we know, right? Or what do you think? Can I some steps? Yes, right. If you remember the theory is with counts and the other one is not count. Good job. I'm glad that you can remember, right? So let's see the number two. Which one do you think or how it should be? We have 
lanes, shoe, more, we, bicycle, and have. Which one should be the very first one? It's um, um in Where this case, it is a lanes. 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 lanes is like the things that are in the streets where the bicycles can go, right? Okay. Lines, right? Yes. But like yeah, the sidewalk we, for us. Go ahead, I'm sorry. We should have. We should more have. Lines. More lines. More lines. Bicycles. More. You are good, but there is one thing just. More bicycle mm -hmm. lines. Line. More bicycle lines, yes. Uh, so in this case, uh, let's remember that in English is first of all, the one that describes and then the noun. The noun here is lines. And then the bicycle is what we are describing, what it's gonna be using for, right? So here we have uh, in the next one, pollution is much there to earth. So which one it will be the correct one? Or how should I start? Okay. How should who, I start? Who, who is pollution, you say? Pollution is uh, what the cars do, for example, when they go, right? What they have. Contamination. Uh, contamination, exactly. Yes. There is too much pollution air. There is. Okay. Too, too much pollution air. Let's remember. Hey, air pollution. Yes air pollution, right? There's too much air pollution, yes. Let's see how we're doing and if I don't have any mistake, right? Because if I have any mistake on writing, the virtual platform won't accept it. Oh my gosh, please don't. Oh, I thought that I was out of being your net. So let's see, we have it correctly. Is there any questions so far about this? Or everything is fine? For the moment. For the moment, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> For the moment. In other exam, we are going to be asking. <laughs> yes, I know. Don't worry. So instruction, it says, write the indirect question. It says, right? We are not going to write it down anything. Basically, we are just going to do the, choose the correct indirect question, right? So here we have, where's the nearest restaurant? There is the direct question. And how is going to be the indirect question? Number one, number two, number three. Number three. I'm sorry, number three. It says, where, uh, do you know where is the nearest restaurant? Do you agree? That is number three. Number one, teacher, do you know where the nearest restaurant is? Okay. Number two. Someone says number two as well. Okay. Which one it is then? <laughs> okay. I, I Why do you say so. number one? I Why number so one? Number one. Okay. Why? And why number three and why number two, right? Tell me. Tell me your position, right? Why? Number three for me, teacher. Number three for you, okay, why? Por qué? Ahí está, teacher, como pregunta, why, yeah. I, 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 I remember the number one. No, me. The, uh, put the is of the Hi. end okay. on the end of the question. Okay. I am asking you to say algo. Someone else was saying something. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So just for you to remember, right? In case that you. No sé si por la por la clase no. Ahorita vienen llamadas. 
regañando por ahí. <risa> right, so, let's see. <risa> Oiga, oh, Nibis, como de rir. <risa> so, let's see the indirect questions, right? So, in the indirect questions, let's remember that here we are going to suffer just a little bit of change, right? So, the direct question is where is the nearest ATM? For example, right? Those are the questions that we know that is, uh, we switch the bear, right? We put it at the beginning and so on, what we know. However, in the indirect questions, it's going to be, the, the direct question is going to be converted into a sentence, right? So basically, what's Gerardo saying was the correct one, the number one. So bear B, it's going to go at the end, right? So it's going to be like a affirmative sentence, we can say. But even though it's going to be a question, right? The indirect question. What about the number two? How much do the newspapers cost? Which one do you think? Number one. Number two. Maybe number, that two. Number two. Could you tell me how much cost new papers? Sorry, yes. I'm late. It's okay, not a problem. But you are here. That's the that important thing. My telephone number died. two. Oh. My telephone died and I I live near the oh. stadium. Oh, my and this God. moment arrived in no. In this, bueno, vine acá a venir a la casa. Oh, you <laughs> just arrived. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> and, y tenía la computadora aquí en la casa, entonces me iba a conectar primero con el teléfono and then the llegaba a la casa. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, next time, right? But the important thing is that you are here, right? That's yeah. the important thing, that you are here. Thank okay, you. let's see. Let's see the number three. Where is the best bookstore in the downtown? Number one, two, three. Number two. Number two, right? Yes, mm -hmm. thank you. What about- I, I have a question. Go ahead. I think it's correct, okay, it's two, but I do the, sorry, in the first, where the is, first. is always is the final. Yes, okay. Yes, this is going to be in the five at the end, right? Just at the end of the sentence, whenever you have an indirect question. So basically, um, let's say it like this. The direct question, it's going to be um, affirmative sentence in the indirect question. The only difference is that you're going to know that it's an indirect question because you have an interrogatory phrase. So that's the only difference. Besides that, if you erase the indirect or the phrase, right? The introductory phrase, if you see it, the nearest restaurant is, where the nearest restaurant is, is an affirmative sentence, right? It doesn't have any question there. Just because of the question mark, we can say it, that it might be a question. But besides that, if you erase everything from here to here, you will see that this one is an affirmative sentence, right? So verb be always at the end. Um, the one that you need to remember as well is that the auxiliary do, it's deleted, right? So you have the verb just alone, like cost, right? Cost. And then uh, um, the same here, right? Um, the downtown is. So that will be the only differences. What about what time do the banks close? Can you tell me one, two, or three? Number two. Okay. Number two. Number one. Number one. Okay. Number one, two. Which one? I know three. Three. No, no, no. Two. One, one, one. Num number two. Three. For me, someone is saying for me, one, okay. Alguien más dijo for me. En el ratito que lo dijo se no fue el audio, ¿verdad? Se le fue el audio a la persona. Okay, number, someone is saying no. Number one, because the second mm -hmm. has the two. Has the two, right? Mm -hmm. So yes, so it doesn't, it doesn't need the, the auxiliary on it. Mm -hmm. And there we go, all of them. 
are partially okay. correct, right? Let's see. In the number two, we made a mistake in the number two. How much the newspaper costs? So can you tell me how much do the newspaper cost? How much the newspaper costs? And then we have, could you tell me how much newspapers cost? The three. Number three, number three. Number three right? Number three. Yes. The number three. Let's see. And there we go. We got the 16 points, right? Is there any question regarding to the indirect questions? No, no, all right. So if there are no questions, let's go on the last one. That is going to be the letter D. And here we have a reading comprehension, right? So I would like to ask uh, one, two, three, four volunteers. Who would like to read? Mm -hmm. Thank you, all right. So please okay. uh, read this one, incoming. Okay. Dean Carmen is an inventor. He and his team developed the single human transporter, a battery powered two wheel electric transportation device with a price of 3,995. It costs less than a car. It's easy to ride than a motorcycle and use less space than a bicycle. And it's easy to operate. Stand on the platform, lean forward to move ahead, left back to stop or move backward, and twist the left hand to turn. To go faster, lean forward and little more. Some people compare this to ice skating because it's moving so quiet and turn so smoothly. 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 Yes. Uh, this one is Dan. 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 Yes. Yes, Blanquita, you were telling me. The Seedway HT weighs 32 kilograms and seven points, pounds, sorry, and can fit in the truck of most car. Fo fully? 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 Fully charging. Fully charging the battery backs for four to six hours, allow you to ride as many as 30, uh, 16 kilometers and 10 miles. 10 miles, okay. Well, very convenient. Someone else? That will like also, to read? It can only hold one passenger or 100, 200 pounds. The subway HT is a great way to get around or do errands. Uh, in most cities, it can go wherever people walk, jog, or ride bikes. Okay, thank you very much. And the last one. The Segway, it's a environment. The Segway. The Segway is an environmentally friendly an energy efficient machine of the 21st century will, will not be fun to have one. Okay, wouldn't be, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be? Seria is a, wouldn't it be fun to have one? Wouldn't it be, okay. Thank you very much. Is there any question regarding to the paragraph? like new words or something that you would like to know? No, everything is fine? Yes, yes, all right. What do you think? Would you like to have one of these ones? Do you think it will work here in El Salvador? What do you think in your own opinion? Mm -hmm. mm. The most similar is um, ¿cómo es que se llama este? I do not remember. <laughs> I don't Which have seaway. We don't have I mean, seaway. No, we don't. We don't here in El Salvador, right? But ¿cómo es que se llama? Sorry. El, el que de Soyapango viene para acá. Ay, se me ha ido. Oh, el Citrans. 
Ah, es. Es. Yes. yes. Don't see way. It's not a seaway, but it's kind of similar, right? But this one, it says that it's just only for one passenger, right? Or for only one person. Ah, okay. And it has to be around 10 to 200 pounds, right? Uh, well, I'm sorry, 100 to 200 pounds, right? So a person who is a huge person can be on the city right so basically it's just only for one passenger and as well has the limit of pounds right as you might know um there's people right that they are kind of huge and they need to be moved in a different way so a seat weight is not like a kind of um like a kind of um, what can i say a possibility right for a person a possibility for a person do you know what exactly what a seat weight is? Saben cuál es ese aparato? Have you ever seen it before? No. Uh, in multiplaza, have you ever seen the guards, the security guards, that they are moving through the through the pass with a machine? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen it? The, okay. yes. That one is a seat way. Mm -hmm. That one is the seat way. In multiplaza. Yes, they are going in, well, for every, in the places in the stores, right? That you have there in the, wherever you go there, they are in that seat way. They are doing in that seat way um, later on. So that one is a seat way, right? It's sufficient for one person, but I don't think that going from here, from the Lourdes to, to Santa Tecla, it will work, right? So it's let's see. A, it's not a bike, it's not a skate. It's convenient for the foot. Oh yeah, it's convenient. Uh, well, it's convenient if you don't have to travel like a long distance, right? Like a long distance. Like if you are, uh, what? Let's say, right? In my case, right? Um, here from from my house to Unicentro, let's say it is not such a long distance, and I can use it. But for example, if I want to go to Santa Tecla, it won't work for me, right? You see, it's a pretty long way. So basically, this seat way is a good option for people that works and lives near to their work, right? So that doesn't take too much time to get there. So you don't have to you have to just cross a park and so on. But yeah. So let's see uh, the questions, right? Uh, in the number one, it says Dean Carmen. So which one it is? Once uh, two on acid way HT, doesn't think that the seat weight HT is an energy efficient, invented the seat way HT. Which one do you think it is? I think the number one. Someone says the number one, okay? Yes, number one. Opinion? Number one as well? Once to, oh, see. yes. Once, okay. Once to on a Sidway ST. Okay, we will see. Let's see the number two, the Sidway ST. Okay, it's cheaper than buying a car. It's harder than riding a motorcycle. It has four wheels and runs on electricity. Which one do you think? Number one. Number one. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. We'll see. What about the number three? It says the new transportation device. Okay, this new transportation device recharges in four or four to six hour weights, uh, two to one hundred to two hundred pounds, goes sixteen miles per hour. Which one is the correct one? Which number three? The charging port. Oh, someone it says number three uh, or three. number two. I think it's number three. No. Going to sixty miles per per hour. Per hour. Okay. Three. Let's see. Let's verify. Someone says number two. Why? Because the the. Uh, number three. The way I see recharging four to six hours. Okay. 
someone is saying Boris is telling us right that it might be church in four to six hours some others they are telling that it goes uh 16 miles per hour so let's see we are going to review it in the reading right so the Sidway HD can go wherever people drive cars can be used use only on ice could replace a bicycle which one do you think it is okay the Segway HD could replace a bicycle okay go yeah. please replace a bicycle the number three let's see what we have and let's see if we have it correct them so it says that we got it partially correct right so the oh number three and the number one right Let's go and let's look for the number three and the number one. Starting with the number one. In the number one, we have it here in the first lines. What is the number one? Dean Carmen is? It's an inventor. It's the inventor, right? Good job. Inventor. So invented the Segway HT. Then it says, right, the new transportation device can give us a weight. Right. Weigh uh, 100, 200 pounds. To 102 pounds. Okay. Okay. Let's see. The seat weight weights, it says 32 kilograms. So it means 70 pounds, right? So, and That's the right. battery mm -hmm. charging bags for four or six hours, right? So allows you as many six kilometers, right? So this one in the case, right? That it will be that answer, the correct answer has to be churches in four to six hours. Because the way for the 100 and 200 pounds is for people, as you might able to see, right? It just can hold only one passenger or 10 to 200 pounds, right? So just only one passenger around that weight, right? So let's okay. see. And then we have it correctly, right? Good job. So here, uh, there is something in the reading comprehension that you need to look for, right? Here, since you have multiple options, you need to discriminate what is asking for, right? what is asking for. So you gotta be careful on that. So you need to pay really attention on what you are reading. The I aim on this after the curse, right? Is that you can take at least um, TOEIC, right? TOEIC certification, which is gonna work for you pretty much. So if you take TOEIC certification, the TOEIC certification, you are gonna do listening and writing and reading, I'm sorry. So if you do listening and reading, you need to pay a special attention to those skills, right? To listening and reading, because the readings on TOEIC, they are like a kind of these ones, like a kind of a scientific, historicals, and some other readings in the ones that you need to be paying really close attention to what you are reading in and just starting to discriminate, right? Words and everything. So um, for that, you are gonna have time. So um, you need to uh, start practicing your reading comprehension, especially, right? Just as a recommendation, you needed to start practicing on. So let's see, um, is there any question regarding to this? Is there any question? No? We are good? All right. So if we are good, right? Estamos bien hasta ahí. We were studying yesterday wish, right? Wish. Am I correct? So in wish, right, we are going to have just a little bit of practice today. Oh, yes. I put it here. Just something on. And we are going to do here uh, the wish, what we were studying yesterday on wish. And we are going to convert the sentences using wish, right? My parents can't afford a new car. So how do will be this one using wish? May I change, you know? How do will be?
do you remember? No. Uh, uh, okay. Say, I wish. No, there. Uh, yes. I wish. I wish. They. 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 No, oh my parents. I wish. They. My, they my, can. My, uh, they can. Okay. Is can or what it will be? Can't. 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 Okay. So it says can't. Uh -huh. Afford a new car. Afford a new car. Okay. No. Yeah. I, um. We will see it. Does someone has any other different one? Another sentence in a different way? Mm -hmm. I wish they could leave for a new car. I wish, okay. I wish they could afford a new car. Afford. They could afford. Afford. Good job. They could afford a new car. Okay. There we go. So here we have one and two sentences. Which one in your expert test do you think it is the correct one, according to what we've been studying yesterday? The second. Second, number two. The second, that's correct, yes. right? Yes, that's correct, the number two, right? The number two is the correct one. Good job. Boris, you were the one that was saying this one, right? Right. Yes. Yes, good job, Boris, good job. So this one, um, let's see, uh, the number four. Dan can fit into his old jeans, as me, right? I cannot fit in my jeans, not anymore, after the pandemic, okay? Dan is a boy. Dan is a boy, right. He wish, wishes, mm -hmm. wishes, Mm -hmm. He could um mm -hmm. could fit into his in fit into his old jeans. Good job. His old jeans, right? Everyone. Oh, yeah, believe me, me too. <laughs> After this quarantine, right? I guess everyone is trying to fix it. Yes. Yeah. Even though you know what is happening when you've been at home and you are using your sandals, right? Not your sandals, yeah. right? Your chanclas. Um, uh -huh. Your your shoes doesn't fit anymore, or doesn't yeah. fit the same anymore when you've been using your your sandals, right? So. It's crazy, but well, what we can do <laughs> is what happened. It is what it is. So number five, let's see. I wish I, I, wish. I wish I remember my pin number. I I could, remember I or I remember. I could, right? I could That's remember some, my pin number, right? Oh my God. My, oh yes, number. Uh -huh. My big number. That's something that happens to me as well. Laura doesn't have any free time. Okay. Abril. Laura doesn't have any free time. Which one do you think it will be? Let's start for Laura, right? She wish. Mm -hmm. She wishes or she wishes? She wishes. She, mm -hmm. she has. She wishes. No, she she could. She could. She could. She could. Have any time. free time. Okay, mm -hmm. she could. Okay, but this one it says doesn't. What do we were saying yesterday about the verbs in present? What is going to happen?
what is going to happen to the birds in present? In this one. No, it's not this one. Oh, no, I forget it. What is it? What happened to the birds in present in wish? Mm -hmm. Cuando tenemos wish, ¿qué es lo que hace el verbo? I wish. En pasado. Exactly. So she had. She had. Any. Any free time. Free time. She wishes she had any free time, right? It can be like that, or I can say, I wish she had any free time as well. So let's see the number seven. Mitch is too short to play basketball. Okay. He wishes. Uh -huh. He. The positive of short. Short is like this, right? The opposite, long, oh. long, large or long? Oh. Short is gonna be regarding to the height, right? So for example, if someone is short, the other person is tall, right? Mm -hmm. Tall, oh. yes, it's tall, tall. yes, the opposite. So is, is gonna be converted into? Was. Was as well, right? Was or where, right? Yeah. Where? Where? Yeah. Oh. Hold exactly mm -hmm. to, to play, play basketball. basketball, right? Volleyball, volleyball too. Oh my god, why is this one is moving here? To play, yeah. Okay, told to play basketball. Oh. To play basketball, right? So and there we go. So here we have the basketball thing, right? So is there any question regarding to wish that you might have? No? Not everything sure. is fine? Do you think it's everything fine? Okay. So this one is just only practicing, right? We are about to go, right? We are almost about to go. We are missing just a couple of minutes. On the next coming Monday, we are going to have the speaking practice on because I remember that I promised to you that we are going to have a speaking practice. But here, just in honor for these three minutes that we are missing on, I'm going to start the session number four, which is the session I've never heard of that, right? Uh, that's the name of the session, right? Nunca había escuchado eso. And I have here a listening. Uh, well, not a listening, but this one was a practicing in the one that uh, I was planning that we can participate with all of us. But tell me in this meantime, have you ever tasted any unusual plate from any other country or any unusual dish from any other country? Have you ever tasted something that is not usual? Right. Mm -hmm. Rear, weird, rear? yes. Rear, uh, rear. Ha, I don't know how. How do you say grillos? Grillos, crickets. <laughs> yes, crickets. Are you serious? Crickets. Comer yes. crickets. Sí. Yes. You have eaten. In me, yes, in a tortilla. In a tortilla. In okay. tortilla. Uh -huh. uh, Guacamole, uh, guacamole, guacamole, yes. guacamole, mm -hmm. crickets, Cricket. frijol, uh, beans, beans, okay, similar a taco, similar a taco, okay, wow, and it was delicious, yes, no, lemon is it, delicious, it's delicious, it's delicious, okay. so I, <laughs> I think, um, uh, similar to um, a pepesca. A pepesca. <laughs> Saladito. Okay. Oh, really? Salty? Tostado. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like in the lake? Where is it there, there in the... Which one? 
in the Guatepec Lake, right? They or where? Uh, in not this country. Where do you go? Mexico. Mexico. No. Yes, Mexico. Mexico. Okay. Okay. Cricket tacos. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. would say cricket tackles. Okay. All right. Someone else has tasted uh, something? I, te I tested ants at Colombia. Ants? Ants. In Colombia? Yes. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a popular snack. A snack? Mm -hmm. like, uh, like the famous boquitas here in El Salvador, yeah, right? Yes, <laughs> oh, yeah. right? Oh my yeah. God. Ants, cricket. Put, put, put lemon, put salt, and go. You, ahead. Oh my mm -hmm. God, and are they delicious? Mm, it's like a pepesca. It's like <laughs> <laughs> <Pur pepesca. laughs> Similar to pepesca. Similar to pepesca. Same for the cricket. Okay, the same for the cricket. All right. So uh, let's see. Well, we are how do already. You say salad? How do you say saladito? Or salado? Salty. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. I hope that someone else uh, on the next coming um, week, right, can share with us any other unusual plate for today. This being all, it was a pleasure to have you here. I hope that you can enjoy the weekend, right? Be safe, okay? Take care, uh, take the measurements, right, that we need to do for help due to the pandemic situation. And we will see us the next coming Monday. And if you have any questions, Hit me up on the WhatsApp group. Don't be afraid. I'm here to help you, okay? So enjoy your weekend. Be safe. Have a good night. Rest and relax. Take care, guys. Thank you, Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.